Got my goggles, radio, quad. That's it. Just gonna plug these bad boys in. I don't know where the plug is yet. Oh, that looks so good in there. Oh, I forgot a battery for the drone. <laughs> Be right back. I was too excited. Okay. I'm really excited to fly this. Like, I almost don't even know what to expect to a degree. Like, like I, well, I know what to expect. But I don't want to... I don't want to fall in love. I've uh, invested heavily in my analog systems. So I want to hate it, but I don't think I'm going to. It's a really shitty battery strap. Give this one last lens wipe. Ugh. Gotta figure out what arm switch is. That's a beeper. Okay, so this is arm. I went ahead and set my rates on this quad. Okay, quad seems fine. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude, even just this view is absurd. Uh, let me record. So I see voltage, some sort of timer. Going into settings. Focus mode is on. Remote controller settings. Oh, the setup. All the setup for the remote controller is in there. PID tuning, according to this. Alright, we'll come back to this. I want to fly. But it just, it looks so absurd in here. Like, this is unfair. I'm, I'm watching a GoPro right now. Running 24 megabits per second, 25, 23 milliseconds latency. The quad is a little wiggly. I'm definitely noticing the focus bits. I'm flying around behind the house now. It's like kind of stuttery almost. Flying up over the house. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Something's funky with this quad. I think it. I think I'm getting jello. I'm not struggling with this radio at all. Remember, I'm inside the garage, so everything that we're seeing is after the garage. There's like. <sighs> It feels like, I don't know if it's the quad or something else, but like it feels like there's this little side-to-side -side movement. Like when I lock it straight, it's fine. Like it almost seems like, like look at this. It's flying like nice and smooth. It's bizarrely nice. You can see every little leaf. <laughs> I'm not struggling with any latency or anything like that. So far, seems pretty awesome. And 
I'm just trying to hit all the lines that I normally would here at my house. I just, I feel like I'm watching the GoPro later. Oh my gosh. This radio is starting to get kind of weird to hold without a neck strap, so I'll have to fix that later. Do this guy. No problem. 30 milliseconds. 35 back there, 24. Huh. I was about to ready to just fly that battery to death. No fogging up or anything like that. Um, goggles are still going. It uh, did finish recording. I don't know if that was me or not, though. Come on. No, leave it alone. <laughs> I kept the last video for a second. Looks funny. Okay, so I'm going into playback to see what it recorded. I have a bunch of recordings, that makes sense. One of these is 3 minutes and 47 seconds. I can skip forward. Now I'm just watching it back. Easy peasy. Huh. That's pretty... That's pretty insane. So first experience, uh, first notes. What did I notice? What did I like or not like? Um, I didn't mind wearing the goggles that whole time. That was fine. Uh, felt they felt really good on me. Um, did not like holding the radio without a neck strap. It it's just kind of a little. It felt like it was just like slipping back in my hands a little bit. I don't I don't know if it's the quad or if it's something else, but it felt like there was like a a stutter this way. Um, I'm going to assume it was the quad just because it's a bit, it's not my machine. I don't know how it's set up or anything like that, but it seemed like there was a little bit of jiggle on the yaw. So I might play with the PIDs to see what changes that up. Um, the focus mode was nice. I, I Supposedly the focus mode helps you. It just gives you a little bit of peripheral um, and knocks down on like the amount of information that has to be sent so that the latency stays lower. Uh, it kind of took away from the experience for me. Like I felt like really immersed when I first looked at it and like the focus mode basically was off because it was just sitting stationary and it wasn't having to refresh as much information. But once the focus mode popped back on, I was like, oh, that's too bad. But I quickly got over it in flight. I mean, like the trees and stuff, I was seeing all of the leaves. Um, I was hitting the lines that I normally would with a freestyle quad. I don't usually fly very fast here at my house. Um, and so I flew the same as I normally would. Um, so I'll take it out to the track later and see what it's like there. Um, oh man, I just want to fly more. Like that kind of what what I feel like right now is like it kind of just gave me the 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 feeling of just being in the air, right? Like it's I, right when I first got started with all this, like I loved just going out and being able to fly, and this kind of made me feel that way a little bit again, which I'm pumped about. So, Kyla, did you get a stick? <laughs> Kylo, come here. What you get? What you get? You get a stick? Did you get a stick? Yeah, you did. Good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> so yeah, all I have to say, uh, super pumped so far. To charge up some more batteries we're gonna to go to the flying field do take, take it out on a racetrack maybe we can do some comparison of times if possible because i guess we don't have a way of doing timing with it um uh, what else oh yeah field of view field of view was good it felt like uh fat sharks um uh, maybe a little bit bigger uh, but i didn't really i didn't pay attention to that so i guess that's a good thing maybe i guess it's got to be bigger um screen was super bright uh, that felt good um i don't know how this is going to do in low light i'll be curious to see about that 
uh, or like on a night track, though I've heard good things about that. Yeah, I'm pumped. I just want to fly more. That's it.